Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling and zip. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to talk about some of the new things with ZimCat. So that's the latest version of Zim that happens after Zim 10. So we're still uh, moving through and updating the site, changing various things. We've still got the 10 banners on here from Zim 10, but those can probably stay just fine. Uh, school is sitting at 10.9.0, and um, let's see, uh, kids is updated to 10. I think Zap's probably fine, so intro is updated to 10. Zoo, yeah, is probably updated to 10 as well, but we have to probably check that. I always forget about Zoo. Um, that's where you can type Zim stuff right into the browser. But what we primarily concentrated on was the, the cat itself right here. Let's take a look. Well, there's tons of new things, and we just did a bubbling about those new things, and we're going to be doing some individual bubbling on main changes. So we'll see that as in the future. We just wanted to finish off the right-hand side here in this bubbling, and this was Certificate. So you can press on that, or indeed you can uh, swipe to make this stuff move. Here are those styles that we were mentioning in the last one. Take a look at that. Isn't that neat? All right. All right. So uh, these are the sliders and dials. That's a selector, and the selector seems to be operating this, which is operating that. <laughs> oh, darn, I'm telling you the answers. And then over here on the right, we have a new component called the... Um, <laughs> so many, so many components. Uh, called the scrambler, of course. And when you get the scrambler in the right order, you will get a reward. So you're wanting to test. Uh, right now we don't have it in the right order, but I'm not going to tell you the right order. So I'm a catastrophe at the moment. So this is a little quiz that we made so that you could have fun try, uh, testing yourself uh, about Zim. So let's go to the next question here. So how many versions did we have? Didn't I already tell you? I think I already told you, like, like after 10. So each of the Zim versions are three letters, and cat then fits right in, except cat's not a number, but we just decided not to go to, well, we decided not to go to Lev, although that's a pretty cool name. That would have been fun. The problem was when we get to 12, <laughs> we fell asleep. <laughs> so, so we were looking ahead going, you know... Yeah, I mean, there might have been some other way to say 12 with three letters, but this one was a, a fun, obvious one. We just decided not to go there. So, hey, welcome, cat. And we've got a new cat in the family. That's um, Ow Me right there. So there's that one. Uh, here's the scrambler again. So we can scramble things in a grid like this as well. And so you can practice that. Uh, that's... Uh, traditional kind of uh, radio buttons that have been around for ages. And also remember that any of these things, this is this is called the... Mm. <laughs> we've, got, we've got so many components now. I'm losing it. This is the stepper. <laughs> okay. The scrambler, stepper, selector. Yeah, this is the, the stepper. And steppers do more than numbers. They also will step through strings. So it's kind of a handy way. It's like a pull-down menu without the pull-down, I suppose. <laughs> you can do a pull-down menu. This is this is the selector. And we've made the selector multi-user. It's not multi-user at the moment. Uh, well, as in we're not, uh, this is needing to be multi-user here. There's only one thing selected at a time. Uh, but we're going to show you in the next bubbling a, um, a synthesizer. And in that synthesizer, there's another one called a synth pad. And, and that's a multi, multi-touch multi selector. So there we go. Just remember that we're on the canvas. We can do things like this quite easily. I might, I suppose you can rotate something with a transform on HTML. You hardly ever see it. Uh, but here on the canvas, be a bit more freeform. You know, have some fun. Style, style it. And so what kind of hit test would we use? Oh, we introduced a new type of hit test. And you can look in here and see if, hmm, you can find that hit test. <laughs> uh, a big long list, so lists have already been around that you can pull and drag, and you have to answer this question. And then the very last one is, is another selector here. Uh, which one of these people is indeed Dr. Abstract? Oh, I 
Isn't that fun? Yeah, do you like that? Could it be this one? Or is it this guy, Frank Laws? <laughs> how about this fellow? They're both without hair. And Frank Force, how mysterious. <laughs> so which one is uh, Dr. Abstract? So come on in to Zim at ZimJS.com. Press on the cat here. If you do a little refresh, we'll refresh the page. There it is. It sort of drops down and you open it up and you can look at both sides. When we come back with another bubbling, we will take a look through uh, some of the examples here, such as the synthesizer. Sound good? We'll see you then. This has been What's Bubbling at Zim. You've got a little quiz to do. Have some fun and come join us at zimjazz.com slash slack and uh, ask any questions you have. Uh, hang out with us, chat. We're growing all the time. We'd love to see you there. Ciao.